and we're back in Photoshop. So I've taken my renders from Clarice and I've brought them in. So I have pasted them into my PSD and basically I have recreated pretty much the same structure with my layers that I had for my city down here. So I have my environment light at the bottom. Then above it I have my distant light, which I'll set to color dodge. And already actually let's apply a mask to it and let's just delete a little bit of this light. It's a little bit too powerful. Okay. And then just like previously, in between them I have textures for my airships. So I've taken the liberty of also rendering out a couple of my brick textures, which I thought might help as well. Why not? It's just some extra detail that we can use. So maybe let's start off by going into here and let's set this to exclude the shadow somewhat. Yeah, maybe about this much. I'm kind of wanting only the highlight detail from this layer. And in the next one, let's also do something similar. Okay, so we're just getting little bits of texture, not even enough to be able to tell that it's bricks, but just something there. All right, let's have a look at these. So we have this and this. Maybe like, let's take this one first and we could change it to soft light to kind of multiply its color onto the layers underneath. And we could maybe take this one and keep some of the highlights maybe. Actually, let's just darken this whole layer using curves. I think actually it might be a little bit obvious that these colors are the same as the ones on the city, so maybe let's take this and click Control plus U to go into here in saturation. And let's have a look at changing it slightly. Yeah, let's go 180 degrees. So we're getting completely the opposite colors. Actually, we could instead make this as a adjustment layer and then only apply it to the spaceships we want to. So there. I think I actually like these other ones better as they were. Okay, let's just keep it for that. And this layer, let's make a mask. And maybe let's paint in a little bit on top. We're being quite rough here, but that is kind of my whole point of this. It's that you can create something very quickly and you don't have to worry about a lot of the things that you would if you were modeling and texturing and lighting everything properly. Our ambient occlusion, let's just set it to multiply and let's get our C depth and let's set it to screen. 
And I kind of want to play around with the brightnesses of s some of these objects, I think. I could push and pull them back in distance slightly. This, for example, let's go into... Let's actually create a new curves adjustment. And let's start, raise that area up to this. So we push this spaceship back a little bit using depth. And then maybe... Bring this one back a little bit. Here, I think also we could bring it back a bit. And here we could push this back. Maybe a bit less. This we could also push back, especially where it intersects with the waterfall. Let's have a look at this texture again. Or this one. Yeah, I think this, let's go into curves and let's darken it significantly. And I feel like this spaceship is a little bit bright. Maybe I'll just select everything except this bit, which I quite like. And I'll go into image adjustments curves. And just change the values a little bit. Make it more blue, I think. Yeah, let's just make this a little bit more subtle. Let's use the burn tool a bit. Here I think I could use the dodge tool on this texture for this spaceship. It was getting a little bit too dark I think. Maybe a little bit there. Let's make this slightly more Obscured in haze, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next, let's create... Maybe a little adjustment curves that we'll just apply to everything in the group. And I'll just raise the blacks slightly. Alright, let's now create some engine fires for these spaceships as well. Let's just make a new layer and let's select a soft round brush and let's just very quickly, very roughly And some red. OK, 
just lengthen it this way. And then we'll paint some yellow. Just trying to get a soft blend between these two. And let's get some near white. Put it in the middle here. Let's taper off this end. And we can use the dodge tool here to make it hotter. And let's delete anything outside of this area. All right. So we have that. Let's duplicate it and keep a copy for later use. And let's just put this here. Let's duplicate again and just paint in this bit more clearly. Merge that down. We could even squish this a bit more. Okay, maybe not. Okay, that looks like it's coming out of the spaceship itself more now. Can make the trail longer actually. Alright, and underneath it, let's create a curves. And we'll kind of ramp it up and make it much more orange and let's invert the mask for the curves and here let's just paint in some lighting actually let's try to duplicate this and we'll create another little bit. Oh, that looks a lot cooler, I think. Maybe make this one slightly shorter. Okay. And we could actually duplicate this curves and just kind of paint in a little bit of where the light is reflecting off the metal here just to make it interact with our actual spaceship so it looks slightly more realistic. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can change the color of this flame slightly. I think we can go slightly more yellow. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit better. And let's go back to our spaceship just a little bit quickly. And maybe let's use the burn tool on some of these textures slightly.
let's take the frames that we have just made. And let's copy them. And let's just add them to some of our other spaceships. Maybe give that one two. And let's use the dodge tool to make it a lot brighter. Actually, let's see about making this one brighter. I think actually that's slightly more realistic. Let's copy this again. And let's attach it to this spaceship, or airship rather, I guess. What if I set these to screen? Ah, that might actually be better. Let's take these two. Let's shrink them down a bit. Let's just dodge to one of these a little bit. Maybe, yeah, let's duplicate them and lower the opacity slightly. Alright. This one as well, maybe. Let's copy this once more. And I'm just trying to kind of find places on these spaceships, or airships, again, sorry, um, where it would make sense to have these. Sort of making it up as I go along, but it's a little bit of fun. Okay, let's take all of these lights and call them jets. Let's go to our airship renders group and let's select the eraser with the white color selected and a soft brush. And let's slightly paint this out here and make it look like it's interacting with the waterfall. It's 
something like that. And we could also, above this, create a new group. And I'm going to call this Waterfalls Extra. And this will be just extra little details for the waterfalls interacting with the airships. So I'll just create a quick brush. If we go into brush settings, which we can access using F5 on the keyboard, and just do some scattering size jitter, a little bit of angle and roundness, and increase the spacing slightly. And in my color picker, let's select current and below. And here, let's just select this sort of color from the waterfall. And let's paint in some tiny little splashes. Actually, let's select a brighter one just to make it stand out slightly. Okay. I think actually the spaceship could use a little bit more of a touch. Let's see. Let's maybe duplicate this layer and increase the opacity. And let's go into curves and Increase the brightness a bit. Let's clear the mask. Okay. And let's just paint in a little bit extra here. That's fine. All right. So I think here as well. Ah, I forgot to save my brush. Let's quickly remake it. Here as well, let's paint in some splashes of water. It's a bit of a balance between having them too small and too big. At this scale, individual droplets of water would not even be visible, so I'm kind of making them slightly too big, but at the same time I'm hoping that maybe they can be interpreted as more than one drop of water, so it's a whole splash. Let's have it hitting this top edge. Like that, okay. Alright, so I've brought in a couple more images of my waterfalls. And let me just grab this one and copy it. And I'll just paste it here. Let's desaturate it a little bit. And let's key out the shadows. And my goal here is to sort of put some water in front of the spaceship so it looks like it's going through it slightly. A 
not a bit much. Let's see about bringing this one in just to check which one works better. Let's go to image curves. Make this a bit brighter. And let's key out the shadows as well. And let's have a look. Yeah, I feel like that might actually be better. Okay, I'll put this here and we can copy it a few times to get the best bits. I like this bit, it looks like it's the water is rolling off the spaceship. Okay, let's go into our airships one last time. And again, let's use the dodge tool maybe here a little bit. Brighten this up. Nice. Lastly, let's go to our edges, the edges layer that we made earlier. And let's also do a little bit of the same trick for the edges of our spaceships. Just to get a little bit of extra detail in. The others look good. Alright, maybe let's just add even a little bit more depth over this one. By using the dodge tool on the depth pass, we should be able to. Okay, so this will do for now. After this we only have tiny little adjustments to make and we'll have a complete concept. We will just add things like lens dirt, chromatic aberration, light wrap, blur and sharpening and things like that. And that should wrap it up and hopefully we'll all have a nice image by the end of it. Cheers!